This is opednews.com. I'm speaking with Lizzie Steelheart. She's a hairdresser. And what's your name? Victoria. Victoria, where are you from, Victoria? Uh, I live in Crown Heights, but I'm originally from Texas. Have you been staying here? Uh, on and off. Yeah, yeah. great. I've been here since the day one. Yeah. Excellent. So, li- tell me, Lizzie, why are you doing Sorry, I got distracted. Yeah, that's the way it works here. So, t- so wh- why are you cutting people's hair here? Well, so sort of the idea is to give the, give the protesters a little tactical camouflage. Um, you know, when they dress up like the people they're protesting against, it sort of creates an interesting dynamic, and I think it can help legitimize some of the ideas and concerns. Um, because right off the bat, when you're when you're dressed um, in a business-like way, I think people tend to take you more seriously. So um, that was sort of the idea. But it, you know, for us, it's it's also a bit of a bit of theater and comedy too. It's, it's you know, and completely participatory and. and um, Forcing it on anybody, obviously. So people want to do it. So. <laughs> Thank you. It's opednews.com.